Welcome back, everybody, to some more Terra Firma Craft. I am Mr. Envelope. Envelope. I'm Mr. Envelope, and I'm doing metalwork. I said I was gonna do it like five times last episode, and here I am, working metal. Um, we're in spring, I believe. Yeah, early spring, the first of March. Um, I feel like I've done so much uh, metal processing, but then at the same time. As I'm going through all of my stuff, I feel like I didn't have nearly as many resources as I thought I did. Um, I mean, I, we still have a ton of unprocessed uh, iron, but for some reason I thought we had like a whole bunch of copper and a whole bunch of bismuth to go through. I went through that like in one day, in one TFC day, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but basically... This is uh, the stockpile. <laughs> That's all our zinc. We're really low on zinc. Um, here's our tin, copper, sterling silver, black bronze, all the gold, all of our bismuth. We have way more bismuth than copper than I thought we did, and that's what I thought we were lowest on. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, I uh, encaged the puppies, and uh, they did end up having their babies. Uh, I shared picture on the discord so we got a whole bunch of tiny <laughs> we got a whole bunch of tiny little puppies just chilling over here uh, I realized uh, I almost messed this up completely uh, I realized that uh, once the wolves have their babies the puppies are just gonna be loose and then they could fall down this creek and drown and die um, so I fenced up the puppies they were born and then I realized I threw away all my bones so I couldn't tame these little guys right away um, I panicked killed as many skeletons as I could and um yeah and I didn't have my my mace anymore so I had to just make a whole bunch of hammers at first I was trying to use my axe but that was getting me nowhere um but we got the puppies uh they've been alive for 10 <laughs> they've been uh they've been around for three days and I've pet them every day these guys are just in this ugly fenced in area they're, they're not going to stay there but i was thinking maybe we could put like a little puppy pen over here or something or dog pen because the plan with those puppies is yes we want to give the uh get them to max friendship but i want to be able to take them out and like go on adventures uh if we can get them at max friendship we won't need to bring a lead for them we can just right click them to sit like normal minecraft dogs what am i doing i this is cold already damn it <laughs> i was talking um, but in terms of, like, uh, processing, like, the really good stuff, like, black steel and red steel and blue steel, I think we're, we, we've only really got some black steel going, pretty much. Oh, wow, I butchered this. This is why I didn't want to record myself doing this. <laughs> um, yeah, black steel's, like, the only thing we have a okay amount of, and that's 40, and we're gonna use a big chunk of it today. Um, for a subscriber orchard project. Pretty much doing something that I said I wouldn't do, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyways. Um, we're making a, a, a set of black steel armor, pretty much. And I took off my, where are they? I took off my pants, because that's the only thing I have black steel that's still around. We're going to use those, uh, and then we're going to donate the boots to the project too so we just need to make a, a helmet and a chest piece and then we should be good um for that subscriber orchard edition but um yeah i kind of just wanted to start the episode because i'm still going to be doing a bit of uh metal processing we have this little chest full of things what am i doing we have this to go through i've been making some blooms with uh, the tiny bit but it's such a waste of charcoal um but I'm, I'm still going to go ahead and try to do that. You know, I should get another one of these guys going. Uh, 20, right? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. It, I think it was just, like, recently I realized, like, oh, I'm putting 20 units in. Because I was just grabbing, like, full stacks of everything and dropping it in and picking it up. Uh, picking up whatever popped out. Um, yeah, I'm pretty bad at this still. Where did that go? I know I didn't pick it up. Maybe I did. I don't know. Okay. Well, we may have just lost a little bit of charcoal, but that's okay. And I need to go harvest uh, the wood. Oh, it's down here. I need to go harvest the birch trees and go plant some, like, hickory or something, because 
Uh, we're not low on charcoal, but I'm burning through like everything we have. This isn't everything, by the way, but um, I'm burning through a whole bunch of our supply. And I know that's what it's for, but I want to make sure I have extra just in case like an emergency happens. Why aren't you melting? Give me, give me. Okay, well, uh, yeah, just wanted to say hi pretty much. Start the episode. Uh, I'm going to do more of this and I'll be back hopefully with more black steel. At least black steel. Cause then we can do the red and blue steel like easy peasy so yeah i'll be back hmm something's happening something is happening I think you guys can look at the mini map. Something is happening. Okay, I I think I may have. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? Oh, we did it! We farmed a mob, and we got bones. Oh my god. Okay. Well, you just- Oh man, I'm really close to the edge. You saw it here first. We're farming mobs. Oh yeah. <laughs> right at the end of my metalworking, I decided to do one last check over here, obviously. And, uh, wouldn't you know? Is there a guy over here on the outside? Yes. Wouldn't you know? There, I, I come around the corner, I see some fellas on the map, I- jumped and hit that record button and man was it worth it we farmed our first set of bones we gotta memorialize those um and uh, surprisingly and not surprisingly nothing has spawned here because this farm sucks <laughs> but i'm not gonna tear it down <clears throat> um as you can see though guys uh i've been doing some monitoring i don't know if i said this in the first clip uh, i've been doing some monitoring uh checking the farm every so often and wouldn't you know nothing spawning <laughs> they're just the worst farms ever um but what you just saw right now that was the first uh mob that spawned here um yeah <laughs> i'm honestly surprised i didn't think we'd get anything and i'm even more surprised that it happened uh after most of the snow has gone away um that's pretty strange to me but um yeah, I haven't done any of the decorating that I said uh, I might do, um, but we, we'll probably do some of that today. I just had a couple ideas to make the place look not so flat and boring, um, and we'll, we'll do that in a bit, but um, the only thing that I have done is I fixed the thing with the water. Here, let's go ahead and take a look inside. I fixed the thing with the water that I noticed at the end of last episode, and I put signs. Oh, I knew I was going to fall. <laughs> uh, I put signs down. <clears throat> Because I'm pretty sure in this version of Minecraft, and maybe every other version of Minecraft, uh, signs count as a full block to mobs, so they'll, uh, they're more likely to just, like, walk across thinking, like, this is a safe area for them to cross, and then they'll fall. Um, jeez, I'm in danger. <laughs> uh, okay, this is fine. But yeah, I did that, and then, uh, I fixed the bit down there, so that should be working too, and it did. You, you saw it happen. The guys went up the elevator and then fell down and died. Um, and that's kind of good that we got some bones. Because I'm out of bones. Um, I think I have one left over in my chest. And now we got these two more. So that's cool. Uh, I finished up all the metalworking stuff that we had to do. Uh, I'm very... I'm actually kind of pleased with how much black steel we have. But I... I, I have realized now that um, we need more iron, more big iron, uh, the 35 units preferably. We have this, these are all 25 unit um, irons, and I'm going to process those into steel. Um, I feel like it would be such a waste to put these into the blast furnace, but we have like no use. Oh, what's this? Oh, yellow dye interesting 
Um, we have all this stuff, and I just, I feel like it was such a waste of time to harvest all that. That and that. Um, yeah, so we just, we need more iron. Um, <clears throat> and it's not like, I guess, a real big necessity right now, but uh, we need to start doing some stuff for the museum. Yeah, we got to get some museum stuff done. And oh, there we go. I've done a little bit of planning off camera. Uh, I made a copy of this world and I went into creative and I started building some stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to realize that this is going to be like a pretty big build. Like we got to store one of everything. All right. Um, or we got to get one of everything. Uh, so we have to make like a whole set of armor for every type of metal. We got to make a tool for everything. Um, I think I want to include like uh, trap doors too, because um, I'm pretty sure each metal can make like a trap door. There you go. Um, yeah, so we got to do one of those. Anything from the base Terra Firma Craft mod? Yes, we're gonna make. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, uh, but things like the lantern that are from uh, decorations, TFC decorations, we won't be making those. We might use them for decorating the the build but we're not going to be making those um here let's in fact just go terra firma so we're going to get all these stones we're going to do all these smooth variants and then we're going to do the bricks we're going to get the dirts we're going to get the gravels we're going to get the sand of every stone we, we can't get the clay variants and we can't get the grass variants um we might try to do the farmland but that's not really important um eh, maybe we'll do them We'll do all the different wood types. We'll make uh, all these racks of all the wood types. These walls. I think you guys get the idea. We're pretty much just making everything in Terra Firma Craft. Um, I guess even like these random knickknacks that have like um, TFC variants. So we'll try to make these bookshelves too. Um, that's weird. I don't... It says it's a TFC allium, but I, I'm pretty sure the flowers are just Minecraft flowers. Oh no. Okay, well, I guess we gotta get all the flowers too. I honestly thought that would be the one thing we wouldn't have to worry about. Uh, we're gonna have to do these oil lamps, these doors like I said. Uh, make extra grills, make a sluice. I think that's how you say that. Uh, and then for the gems. The gems, I think... I was thinking we might just skip them, but I think as long as we try to get at least one... Like, uh, you see how there's, um, chipped, chipped versions and broken versions of the Jade? I think as long as we get one of those, we'll be fine. So we just gotta get something that'll represent all the Jades, something that'll represent all the Sapphires, all the Emeralds, all the Topaz, things like that. We still gotta find Diamonds, um, we gotta make all these tools, um, for the ore types. We're just gonna get one. <laughs> I hope no one gets bothered by that, but we're just going to get one. So we'll get like one of this type of cop copper because there is like tetrahedrite, which is also copper, but we'll get like a tetrahedrite ore. We'll get one of this native copper ore, and then we'll get the malachite ore. Even though they all melt into copper, we all, we're going to get one of each of those types and it doesn't matter what, um, what, uh, purity level it is. I don't know why I decided to go over this right now, <laughs> but we are. Um, yeah, there's, uh, uh this is uh, what I mean though. There's like a whole bunch of different things that we got to collect. Um, one of each food is going to be a thing too. Um, and we can preserve those by putting them in item frames. So that shouldn't be an issue. All the different doughs. <laughs> it's going to be a really big build. And, uh, I guess we can kind of go take a quick peek at what I was playing around with. This is nothing final, but you might as well see what I was doing. Alright guys, so keep in mind, none of these blocks that I've placed down are final. This is a creative test world. I'm in creative. And I don't know if it's going to be in this orientation or if any of this is going to be what we actually do for the museum. But this is what I've been messing around with. Um, I've spent maybe like a couple hours just... Placing blocks, breaking blocks, moving things, doing all sorts of things. Uh, and again, none of this is final. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Um, because there's a lot of things in here that I'm not happy with. Like this 
poo poo. Um, I do like how high we're going up. I'm I'm a fan of this. That's about it. <laughs> uh, and I'm digging this thing right here, like this kind of mess. I like I like that. I hope we'll do that. <clears throat> um, I'm not really sure why I'm like showing this stuff, but. I, I, I want to show you guys that I'm actually like trying to do I'm, I'm planning some stuff you know um, the main thing that I want to try to do is make this like uh, I'm, I'm not basing this off of a specific museum or anything but um, one thing that I'm keeping in mind is how museums and uh, I guess art galleries too um, they're almost maze like <laughs> Everything is just like connected to each other and every room has like a theme. There's no wasted space for the most part. Um, the thing I'm drawing the most inspiration from is my trip to Boston. I went to the Museum of Fine Arts there and there were so many different rooms. Rooms everywhere. Some of them really tiny with just a couple things there, but it didn't matter because there was art all over the place. And... Aside from those tiny rooms, there was also like real big areas too. So that's why we got this big cylinder fella here. Um, I thought it'd be kind of co <laughs> cool to have like a little statue or something here. And uh, yep, it's looking pretty good. We might even do this exact build, but I don't know. I'm really digging that jack-o'-lantern. Um, but yeah, this is what I mean. Like if we come down this branch, you know, the main hallway, go around the circle. Um, you know, there's a branch leading out here. There's a couple rooms, nothing special. Maybe have like a lookout over here because I do want to have some outdoor bits. Um, but then there's going to be a hallway. I want to make sure I have hallways because that was something that I noticed a lot of museums I've been to have. Um, there are oodles and caboodles of hallways. And um, I think things like this would be perfect for like those one-off things that we have. To, what am I doing? Those are like one-off things we have to display. Uh, maybe we can have like the food or something on the hallways, almost like paintings. I think that could be kind of funny and cool. Um, just things like that, pretty much. Because uh, there's so many things that we got to display. And I mean, like we're not going to put like every dirt block and every wood block in an item frame. But, you know, maybe for some of them we can. Um, one of the problems I'm running into, though, is how we're going to display everything because you know the first thing I was thinking of is we could have like all the swords like right when you walk in just like BAM look at all these different swords and stuff um, they, they'd all be on display and it would just be super rad um, but then I stopped to think do we keep all the sword all the swords together or do we keep every weapon and tool uh, made of the same material together so, like, instead of this being a hall of swords, maybe have a different room with, like, the black steel sword, the black steel mace, the black steel pickaxe, things like that, you know? So, uh, I'm, I'm, tr I'm starting to wonder how I'm going to organize everything. <laughs> um, it's becoming a little bit of an issue with uh, my progression on planning this thing, but, yeah. I mostly just wanted to show you guys some of the little bits of work I'm doing. Um, one other problem I have too is um, I'm really bad at planning things like this. Um, like a lot of my, my YouTube friends, and I guess just friends, <laughs> uh, they're all like great Minecraft builders and everything, and they just like go nuts. Like for example, my buddy Mo, he can just put down lines like this and he knows what's going on. He knows what he's, he's envisioning, but me, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I have to pretty much build everything so I can actually see my thoughts, <laughs> you know? Um, cause this, for example, was just a couple of lines of, uh, stone, but then I had to build everything up cause I couldn't see my, my vision, you know, does that make sense? I don't know. I'm bad at this. <laughs> I'm very bad at this. And, uh, especially with terra firma craft, I don't really plan stuff. Everything's always like, um, I wing it, you know, I just go for it and hope for the best as you can see. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a uh, kind of some ideas I have. I wanted to have a circle with like a dome so I'd, I'd do a dome on top and I wanted to have some squares coming off. I want the dome to be kind of hidden in the shape of the whole build mass but I want you to kind of know it's there and I think that'll be more clear once there is a dome and stuff. 
um, also with this whole build it's uh, hanging off the cliff edge over there and that's not really an issue you know I could I could make it work I could do some landscaping but uh, I think I still want to get this and pull it forward a bit because I was thinking of maybe having like um just a balcony in the back looking over the ocean but I think we could still do that but I want to have the bottom floor have some building space and I think it would just look real ugly and be way more difficult to you know try to pull that off right here so I definitely want to push this whole thing over like maybe 20 blocks or so maybe more <laughs> yeah maybe a maybe a bit more yeah um oh and then for the outside bits you know because we got to go catch all the TFC animals um like the chicken rooster the pheasant male and female the deers the bear we got to go catch them and make like almost a little zoo for them um and you know we'll decorate it we're not just going to have uh, a box for the animals to live in so i want this space to be almost like the little park um park slash zoo bit yeah <laughs> this is definitely a big project um but i'm really excited for it because as i was putting this stuff down i was i was really digging it you know um <laughs> yeah really digging it so yeah this is what i'm doing i'm gonna go back now because i think yeah this was like uh, a seven minute bit or something um yeah let's go back to the real world all right here's a question for all you big brain terra firma crafters <laughs> Oh, that sounds lame um can i do anything with these bits that i messed up um it's a 60 unit iron bloom and a 40 unit iron bloom they're both refined as you can see um can i do anything with those or are they just like stuck with that <laughs> um let me know please um but anyways what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do just a little bit more metalwork stuff uh-huh good 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 one two three four bam i gotta say i got into a really good uh groove just uh doing some work down here it was it was real relaxing and i you know popped in and out as i pleased played some other games and stuff it was nice um i enjoyed myself doing the metalworking this time and i feel like i normally get stressed out and I think I've been doing a pretty good job with not overusing the two-year, because um, you guys constantly point that out, which is, I'm not complaining about it, just, you know, you guys know way more than me, so, um, of course you would point it out, too. I don't know how much of this I need, but we'll just grab enough. Um, so we're making, we're making some stuff. We're making uh, chest pleat, chest piece, chest piece and a helmet. Uh, we have panties, boots. Yeah, we just need the helmet and the chest piece, so we're going to heat some of these up. Sorry, that, that might have been loud, me going as I do it again. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, we'll heat those up. Uh, we'll get that going. And I think we're fine. I just want to put some junk away. We might need to make some more sandwiches, too. Oh, can weld can work. Let's go ahead and grab those two weld and we're gonna put those into a sheet we need a double sheet to make uh the chess piece to make the unfinished chess piece perfect nice am i a pro <laughs> dumb <laughs> you need another double sheet that's ridiculous oh our little bell thing just rang that means it's time to pump the bellows oh that was so close nope oh come on there we go unfinished all right we'll put that in there we'll let those two you're getting kind of warm already we'll pump come on you're brilliant there we go or going down i'm a genius i'm too good <laughs> That's not true. Don't ever listen to me say that again. So what actually takes the durability from the two-year? Because, you know, I thought it was every time I pumped the bellow it would do it. But I think, from my understanding, it looks like every time charcoal's consumed, it takes durability. But I could be wrong. 
And I think I came to this conclusion, but making just iron two years is fine, right? Like, there's no benefit for making a, uh, a higher metal uh, class two year, right? Give me, give me your guys' two year tips, too. I want some two year tips. Because <laughs> I, I still got a lot more metal working to do. I got to go find more uh, iron and I got to get this going. Get more of this stuff going, I mean. I think we're fine. One last pump. Get to one. And... Nice. Alright. And then we're going to grab those. Actually, we're going to do that too. I don't think we're using all that, but I forget. So, unfinished chest plate. And we're going to finish it. And go boom, boom. Oh, come on. There we go. Chess piece. I put it on for now while we wait. <laughs> and then you're warming up, warming up, warming up. Okay, we're just waiting for things to warm up. And then I guess we can shape this into steel while we wait. I didn't realize how much uh, steel we use for making black steel. It makes sense, but I didn't realize. And then danger, danger, put those in. Weld. We're making a sheet. And this will be for the helmet. The helmet is apparently just a sheet and then another sheet. So those two are warming up. That's warming up. Let's go ahead and shape this into the helmet. We're going to bend, 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 bend. And nope. <laughs> nope. Nice. Unfinished helmet. Let this stay warm. Once we turn these into a sheet. I guess that last piece that's in there uh, doesn't need to stay in there. We can just cool it off, put it away. Another sheet. Yeah, this guy can stop. Cool off. Sorry for warming you up. Uh, we'll process this, wait for those two things to warm up, and then we'll we'll finish that up, and that should be the end of that. There we go. Helmet's done. We did it. We did it. <laughs> this, I need to melt, because uh, it is worked, and I can't place it down if it's been worked on. I accidentally gave it another hit. And this guy's heating up. Good. I need you to melt. Come on. Melt steel. There we go. <laughs> That's all I wanted. And then this guy's done. Everything is working out perfectly. Aha. There we go. A new mace. <laughs> done. This guy is done. We can take those out. Let this cool off. Nope, what, what's going on? Hey, hey, nope. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Those can go there. Uh, steel. Wait, no, that's fine. We need it to cool off so we can pop it out. And that is everything. We got a new weapon. You guys said to use blue because it does more damage. Um, so hopefully we can one-shot skeletons now. And, oh, I'm hungry. We got to go make more Sammies, I think. We got one left. Um, and now we have Pride's armor. So let's go put that down too. Alright guys, well I just learned something. Um, I don't know if it's like the snow or... Um, I did something wrong. But, I think I remember having this problem last time when we put armor stands down on a chiseled, um, block. Um it like disappears and stuff because I just tried to put down an armor stand for pride uh, but it disappeared and so I relogged came back and I noticed that Jacob Lomas's leather armor stand or leather armor and stand is also gone um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go break those blocks put them on full blocks and then um, see if we can fix that armor stand issue because that's very annoying gonna have to I'm glad I didn't put down the black steel armor and then have it disappear or something 
Yeah, because that's dumb. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do we how do we make an armor stand? Yeah, because we can put them down like so, and then we pick it up. But those ones just nope, nothing. So I can remake the leather armor easy too. So that's not a problem. But again, I'm glad it wasn't the black steel armor because that would have been real annoying to have to make again. I probably would have just grabbed it from creative. Not gonna lie, but we don't have to do that. Uh, we're looking for not dolomite. Yeah, not dolomite. Um, shale cobblestone, right? Grab some of that. There you go. Um, nobody asked for any armor sets for the subscriber orchard because I don't want to do that, and we gotta save our materials for the museum. Um, but there you go, Pride. There's your black steel armor set. It was a lot of work. I hope you enjoy it. Um, but let's go make that leather armor really quick, and then I think I want to wrap up the episode with um, just doing a little bit of decorating over at the the mob farm, because that place is looking pretty ugly. Um, oh, but we got to go pet the puppies too. So, yeah, let's just do all this little stuff real quick. Hopefully it won't take too long. Also, I want to run into some skeletons so we can try out our, um, our new weapon. Right, pet the puppies, pet the puppies, pet the puppies. Look at how big their hearts are. They're almost maxed out. Oh, and they already have collars. Oh man, they're not even maxed. I don't understand the breeding mechanics. This, it just makes no sense. I, oh man, I wonder if I can make them sit already. Or if their collars being there is maybe a bug. Um, let's go grab some dye and see if we can dye them already. Oh man. This might be it. I don't know why I grabbed two. Let's just grab one. Because if it don't work, we'll just toss it. So this is dye, right? Lapis lazuli powder. Okay. And... Oh, we can't dye it. Lame. This is the dye, right? Like, this is how we dye stuff. Uh, Glass. Yeah. Okay, well, it's probably just a bug then. I don't know why I went ahead and crafted that. That was kind of a waste. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, Alright, but we're, we're definitely getting close. Because these guys are still babies and their hearts are almost maxed out. And I think the yellow... Or no, the white outline on the heart means that it can't go any lower. So we're doing good. These puppies are going to love us. Um, And now let's go ahead and make that armor again. It was definitely a whole set of armor. So... Grab that, and crap, I don't know what <laughs> these look like. Uh, okay, that one's pretty straightforward. Helmet. I don't know any of these. <laughs> okay, that one's easy. Chest piece. Panties. Ugh, it's ugly. Boots. Awesome. Easy peasy. And there you go, Jacob Lomas. Hopefully I didn't cause you any hardships with that. Um, so I'm going to go grab some resources. No, I'm going to go make some sandwiches, grab some resources, and we're going to end off the episode decorating uh, over at the mob farm. So I'll be back in a sec again uh, to wrap things up. I keep getting so distracted, guys. I'm sorry. But look, we got our baby sheeps, too. I didn't realize they'd have, like, three. So we just get, like, one. That's awesome. We can start doing carpet things. I, I want to have carpet in the the museum, so this is this is awesome. And you can tell who the father was too. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Ah, if I'd known, if I'd known, I would have been petting you guys too. Do I have to feed them to familiarize with the sheep? I always had a hard time with the sheep. Um, also, we should try to get the female uh, pregnant again, so we can have her even more. Because these guys, I don't want to kill. Let's see. There you go. Familiarized. 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 Awesome. I don't care if they love me. I just need them to let me shear them. Oh, come on, you guys. Oh. Oh, no. They are so stuck. They're really into each other, but they're stuck. There you go. Do it. Do it. Pregnant. Awesome. And that is how it's done. <laughs> 
All right, guys, no joke. This was my big idea. I thought this would be a lot better than it actually is. Um, I thought I could just put down some of these little um, planks and then have it look like a window, but this just looks like someone did a poor job at tagging the thing. <gasps> hey, you guys see that on the map? Nope, never mind. Okay. I thought there was a mob up there, but it's just the zombie. And he's chilling right there. Right? Yeah, no one's up there. <laughs> no one's going to ever be up there. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. I took too many uh, detours and stuff and spent way too much time talking and doing nothing important. But um, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know what you think of the plans for the museum. I am very excited to get started on that. And I think maybe even next episode we'll actually put some things down. Um... I'm definitely going to be working on that um, in between episodes in that creative world. Just, you know, doing more planning and stuff. And um, I'll probably be posting some updates and stuff in the Discord. Um, yeah. So if you guys want to see that, go hop in there. But anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Bye-bye.